So I'm a self-taught Perl developer, and I will present what I did for the last uh, several months. I uh, work a lot with using module issues on my private projects, but all the time I have to set up my applications uh, before they are actually useful. So I came up with Odoo, and I will tell you what it is, what provides, uh, and so on. So uh, this, is, uh, this is already on CPAN. I created it as a regular Perl module, but it can be installed as, a, as an application with your own Perl and uh, so on. Actually, it is a, a regular module issues application. So uh, the purpose is to quickly put together an application and um, everything uh, for scalability uh, and growth is uh, thought up previously. It can start as a very, as a simple module issues application, but can grow in anything. So uh, how it is organized? It is an, uh, represent an Ado application plus Mojulicious plugins. And you can create your own applications by just adding Ado plugin, plugins. So it is a glue code. Uh, practically, I written everything in the start uh, method of Mojulicious. But it also has, uh, with it, uh, a default uh, configuration file and SQLite database. Any uh, MySQL or Postgres SQL can be used also. So it provides also default name for contro controllers uh, for uh, model. It provides also some uh, additional commands added to Mojulicious. I also added to it a semantic UI, which is very similar to Bootstrap, but it is better in my opinion. It just, uh, you just have more understandable HTML code using it. Have a look at their site. And uh, the way I build it, it is always up to date with the latest Mojulicious. And my, if my test break, I look uh, if I have to change something to be in alliance with Mojulicious and just continue. Uh, so it uh, strives to provide just the code uh, that you need. It doesn't uh, add heaviness uh, on your applications at all. Uh, CSS and JavaScript templates, which come with a do, um, cannot be used if you want, if you don't want to. Uh, some Mojulicious plugins are considered to be added as dependency also. Uh, any Mojulicious plugin can be used because uh, a do plugin namespace is uh, inheriting from uh, a Mojulicious plugin, so you are free. You are not bo bound to anything. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, the addition of uh, Ado is, the good thing is that you can have a separate uh, configuration file for your plugins. And it, uh, it just works uh, like Mojulicious. It follows the Mojulicious API. And that's it. So I added uh, uh, a plugin uh, for internationalization, which support uh, different uh, routes or different kinds of uh, internationali internationalizing your, your site or, or your application. Uh, I added another plugin route so the developer can add additional routes and can develop their uh, classes and controllers and so on. I added a markdown renderer, so again for the same purposes. So you can build your site using uh, text multi markdown. Um, 
this is an example code how uh, Markdown can be used. I added also authentication plugin, uh, which is digested authentication. Uh, but I consider to add Mozilla's plugin all out too. Uh, I added also a class uh, Ado helpers so when I think to put additional helpers if I need. Of course, you as uh, this is a regular uh, Mozilla's application, you can create your own helpers plugin. So. Um, I do provide also several uh, comments. Yeah, I, prov uh, I implemented uh, the Ado command version. It is it gets uh, the Mozilla's versions, but version and uh, shows also the uh, Ado version. Uh, another comment: uh, you can add a user to the database. Uh, on the command line, this uh, command can be used from a controller if you want to implement some registration uh, flow or whatever. Uh, also, I added a, add, uh, a Apache virtual host. It generates a virtual host configuration so you can deploy your Ado application uh, with, uh, with Apache. And Apache HTAccess uh, generates an HTAccess file and it is uh, ready to be used uh, on a cheap virtual host. Uh, and I think it works uh, well. And the best thing is uh, the possibility to generate an Ado plugin. This generates the, the scaffolding code uh, that you need uh, to create an Ado plugin and, um, and then just start developing your own uh, logic. You can add an option to uh, create uh, your classes from your database. I use another uh, another uh, Perl module of my own, which was developed uh, um, after several projects with Mozulicious. Um, if you want, uh, you can generate your classes separately uh, by using this DBIX simple class. It's uh, just an, ex it inher inherits uh, from DBIX simple. So I think it's friendly for PHP developers also. Uh, so you can build your own custom applications. And you can use Mozilla's plugins and whatever you like. This is just a Mozilla's application which wants to be a framework. So. Uh, you can contribute uh, uh, however you want. Just go and see. It is on CPAN and uh, so on. So I want to thank to two persons. One is Vulture Nedelchev, who helped me and encouraged me to create, to go further with uh, Ado. And Stanislav Lechev, uh, who um, provided hosting space for Ado, and there it is deployed using Hypnotoad, just the standard recommended way. So, if you want, I invite you to just try it and tell me it sucks, or you want something new, or write something new, and we can discuss. Uh, and now we come to, to the demo. So uh, you can create a plugin. Uh, to create a plugin, first, it's good to have a table. So for example, a plugin named block. You will have a table block 
or you, of course you can have several tables your plugin can be as as complex uh, as you want uh, then um, just add some dummy records uh, so we can test it then we run ado generate ado plugin name we will name it block with crud uh, uh, create uh, read update delete uh, and uh, using the table block and it works just like Mozulicious. Uh, it uh, creates the files, writes, but it, it also, so it is ready to work even in a not installed, uh, while it is not installed. So you can, you can test it together with what, with Ado without putting it into, into a do, um, uh, file tree. Uh, Okay, uh, then, uh, of course, as I told you previously, every plugin comes with its own uh, block uh, configuration file uh, to be, um, to develop uh, freely, you should uh, create a block development config file and just edit it uh, so it can find the templates. This is not yet done, but I work on it. Uh, then in uh, the do configuration file you just have to add the block plugin so it starts working it, just like module issues uh, to be able to run it temporarily you just uh, modify modify your sorry profile flip and then start to do and it works, and I, I will show you. Uh, not yet. Okay. So I, I started it previously. I can stop it and start it again. And then go to the browser and see uh, my creation. So, uh, of course, uh, I may add some uh, beautifulness uh, to the templates, but uh, I haven't added yet. So it just uh, works, and I, if I try to to access the route without an extension, it just uh, says unsupported media type. It uh, out of the box, it uh, provides JSON, so it's really restful. So if I want this, I uh, to the result to be in JSON format, it just uh, prints. Of course, uh, we can talk a lot about what uh, exactly should be the format of the JSON, but I just choose and chose one. And did I hurry it up to? I'm done. <laughs> uh, now maybe there, there. So I thank you for listening, and maybe some questions. Do you guys have any questions? <coughs> Hello. So you support MySQL and PostgreSQL currently? Well, uh, not me, uh, but yes, uh, DBI, has, uh, um, DBI, yes. uh, DBIX uh, Simple supports them. So, uh, and DBIX Simple class also is supposed to support them. I tested it with uh, MySQL and, uh, and uh, SQL Lite so far, not with PostgreSQL, but uh, for normal SQL, but also complex SQL can be written. And uh, have you looked to, to integrate with uh, MongoDB, for example? Well, uh, Mozulicious uh, provides this, uh, and uh, since Udo is a Mozulicious application, you can just uh, 
try and do it. It should not stand on your way. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? Uh, you've written generators for uh, templates, right? The, te the Mojulicious template system is used. Um, everything is just like in Mojulicious. Everything is regular. Yes, Not but those generators, do they generate also controllers with uh, the actions in them for Yes, create, read, up, yes read. and even uh, if I show you the generated code, you will see that the um, model classes are generated on the fly, but only once when they are used for the first time, and then they are not they are Currently, what we see, uh, we use uh, model classes which are just in the memory, and uh, uh, there, there is no currently generated code for model classes, but you can, of course, uh, generate them if you want. So it's, as you see, it is a standard uh, Mojulicious uh, um, file tree. Just I added the site templates. Uh, and as you know, um, additional directories can be used uh, for templates. It is just a question of configuration of your uh, Mojulicious configuration file. Uh, so the it uh, looks like this, uh, the generated uh, controller, it just a regular uh, Mojulicious controller. So uh, from a Doom model, I just uh, generate the class and it then it just can be used. Uh, and how it is used? Uh, in the template, for example, uh, you have the standard create, delete, uh, list, and so on. Uh, of course, now the code is quite uh, raw, uh, rough, uh, and uh, every template is mapped to an action. As, as, as in Mojulicious. So we have the list. Uh, the, here is uh, create. But of course, uh, these are just, uh, how to say, a code uh, which is proposed to start with, but of course you can change it as you wish. It just uh, helps you to get started. Nothing more, no, no big ambitions to, to tell you how it should be written. Of course, this may be stupid code. And, uh, uh, that, and here is uh, when I, uh, when I uh, create the new record in the database. That's it. Just Mojulicious. Okay, we don't have any more time for questions, so let's thank our speaker. Thank you very much.